Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and we're going to talk about my Harangon Rogue, Koal Hopthorn, and a problem I have with, a problem I have for my player character in my, in a Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition campaign that I'm running in. Now, in order to understand what I'm talking about today, you really need to understand the Fallen Greenwald Camelot campaign being run by my dedicated Dungeon Master. Uh, if you don't know what that is, this video is part of a playlist, and you can watch it in the order of the playlist, and you'll have full context for it. All right, let's go. So, a little bit more setup. Sorry, thanks for your patience. I'm about to drag my, my own personal Dungeon Master for something I don't like in his, uh, in his campaign. Now, I want to be super clear. Uh, this dedicated Dungeon Master is a very good Dungeon Master. Um, who I really, uh, I really like the campaign that he's throwing down. But I have this one problem with it. So when I complain about this, you're just hearing about the worst thing that I don't like in this campaign. It's a good campaign, and he is a great dungeon master. Just wanted to preface it with this. But I don't like this aspect. The world ain't perfect. We live in a broken world, right? Like so, and this this part is broken. And I want you to help me fix it. How do I fix this problem? All right, okay. Here we go. Okay. All right, so here's the problem, okay? I am a squat. So my uh, Koal Hawthorne is like fourth level now. And um, he is a Harangon rogue, and he is a squire to a dragonborn knight of Camelot, okay? And we have been quested by King Arthur to go out and, and find seven magical swords. And actually, there's three, there's three players in our, in our group. We just got to a point where we have three magical swords that we're supposed to bring back to Arthur. And Arthur can merge these swords, and he can do all kinds of crazy stuff with them. And these swords are, like, prophesied to be capable of killing him and taking him off the throne. And his enemies are searching for these swords, right? Now, here's... I love this game that this guy's putting down. He has this really unique personal vision for the game. But here's the problem, okay? Um, whenever we get in deep and we roll... So, whenever it really starts breaking down, right? Um, and we get into trouble... I never have any worry that my player character is going to die in this Dungeon Master's game. My And the reason why is this Dungeon Master does a thing that I really dislike, and I want your help fixing this. How do I fix this problem? So what he does is he crafts these incredibly ornate... He loves building characters. He builds them on D&D Beyond. And I'm going to say flat out, this Dungeon Master is better at the, at the combat mechanics of the game than I am. He's brilliant, right? Um, and actually, but he's even not, even at that, he's not the most brilliant, uh, combat mechanic at my table. I got a power gamer on there, man. He, this dude, like, he builds crazy builds that are very difficult to drop, right? Um, so he's, so this guy, this dedicated dungeon master is only the second most skilled combat mechanic within, uh, within our, within our game, right? But here's what he does. So what he does is he, he always crafts one or two. He, he, I think he builds like three non-player characters for every session we have. And he always, always, always has this rock star NPC waiting in the, waiting in the, um, in the, in the wings where if like we got into this, uh, fight with a guild, right? And there were like 50 guards and like, um, maybe five henchmen who were like, you know, eighth level and, um, you know, and we got into this situation where we were getting wrecked and really getting harmed, right? And this has happened multiple times in his game where I never worry that my character is going to die. I go into death saves, right? And what's going to happen is one of his very well, one of the dungeon masters, very well crafted uh, non-player characters will come in, will swoop in, and he'll use these incredibly ornate combat maneuvers using feats in sequence to do literally a hundred damage, um, you know, a hundred damage in a, in, in a single turn. And then we will be saved as the player characters, right? And, and I think the dungeon master is like expecting us to go, Ooh, what a well-crafted non-player character who just saved us. And thank you so much that he saved us. I'm so glad he saved us, right? And I ain't hearing it. I am not having it. I do not like being a dirt farmer in this game. I don't like being a squire. I'd much rather be a knight at the table, right? And frankly, I do not. And like the dungeon master is expecting us to be like 
wow, you've done such a great job. Um, you know, crafting this non-player character could do so much damage and is so much more powerful than my player character. I should, and I think the dungeon master thinks I'm going to take notes and like build my character better. I'm just torqued, right? I'm so, I'm sick of being a dirt farmer in this game, and I need to fix this, right? And the way I've been trying to fix it is not healthy, right? One of the things I've been doing is, like the the dungeon master will be like, here's these allies who are going to help you. And I'm like, y'alls can go die in a fire. I do not want any of you near any of us. And I do not want to any help in any of these combats because the reality is this rock star NPC is going to save the day and like, you know, and uh, just kind of like carry us to, through the threshold. And I'm like, I don't like this. I want to be the hero in this game, right? And so, and I can't get this dungeon master there. So one, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is this dungeon master is oblivious to this channel. He doesn't listen to it, right? Also, I did preface it at the beginning. He's a great dungeon master. Just one thing that I don't like about his game. And I'm sure there, that my players have things they don't like about my game. You know what I mean? But I'm more fortunate that this player, I have the world. That I have like 1,800 people who can answer my question and give me a route to how do I get this dungeon master to stop doing this, right? And to make my player character the hero of the game. I don't know how to do it. And I, and you're I, and I, I don't even start with talk to your players nonsense or you should just have an open conversation with him. Stop that noise, right? The reason why I don't have an open conversation with him is I don't want to say this part of your game sucks and I really want this to be different and could you stop making your non-player characters more important than our player characters as the heroes because I think that's insulting right like it's like any dungeon master who he's read the dungeon master guide I don't know why you know he he skips this part and thinks that we're going to be impressed with him crafting powerful NPCs who we should you know consider mentors and how a character is built or right? you know like but and so that's the issue is like how do I and you know and one way that I've been doing it is like making sure that I get every freaking NPC off the board who's trying to help us, right? And this doesn't always work because my power gamer and my role player, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to need help. And they're not as, they don't have as much problem with this as I do, but I'm sick of being a dirt farmer in a D&D &D 5e game that I'm playing in. I want my player character to be the hero of the game. And guess what? I'm not wrong. Read the DMG. It will say... The player characters are the focus. This should not... I know I'm right. This is wrong, what this player... What this dungeon master is doing. So how do I get, like... And do not say, have an open conversation with him. It's stupid. It doesn't work. It will be insulting to him. And it will, you know... I feel like it will very... Like, uh, I'm just going to be like saying... Like, an open conversation would be like... Hey, the way you run this sucks. And wh why do you keep shoving my... Why do you make me a dirt farmer? And you make your stupid NPCs a hero, right? Like... That's not a good conversation. That's not going to end well, in my opinion, right? Um, and so, is there another way to get there? Is there a, grace, a graceful, gracious way to get what I want in the game? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. And have a wonderful millennium.